Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so it's a little bit unusual here today. Usually when I record one of these sort of extra, you know, afternoon videos, I'm recording it uh, after the game that uh, I just uh, showed you in the morning. This time around, we're going to do it sort of the opposite way, and I'm going to show you why. So uh, what I do here, let me uh, go on over here to uh, VirtualBox. What I do here for Diamond My Baseball is um, I will uh, go into a game. You can see my manager settings. I have the starting lineup decisions for both teams, and then substitution, game tactics, running and throwing are all for the home team, right? First thing that Diamond Mind will always have you do, in case you're not familiar with the game, is it always has you choose the uh, starting pitcher, right? And uh, so here are the St. Louis Browns. You can see we've had um, a number of uh, pitchers pitching relief here on uh, May 1st, which um, is not unusual because of how not good this team is. Um, we're almost certainly going to end up uh, starting Ostrowski. Now, I do have a problem with how Diamond Mine does this, right? Because they just stick the whole entire bullpen here together. There's no way to sort of divide it into these are your starters, this is your bullpen, and other stuff like that. Funny thing about this is that there is a way to do that if you want. So if we quick, if we quit out of this here, we go over here to, uh, let's see if I can find it here. We go over here to view roster manager profile and we go look at the St. Louis Browns. What we can do when we're over here into uh, pitching is we can set things up for the computer manager. This is the um, rotation that we have set up here, um, which is a little bit odd because I think some of those guys are not really here. Here are the spot starters, a number of spot starters. You have your mop up guys, setup guys against lefties and righties, long relief guys. This is all the way that it's. Um, uh, been programmed hard into the game. No closers um, selected at all. And you can change that if you want. Um, and uh, there's also, by the way, depth chart options and stuff like that. That should be familiar with you uh, or for you if you're used to playing a game like uh, OTP, right, which has a similar setup. Though the thing I like about OTP is that it's very graphically done and it's really easy to see who your starters are and who your bullpen is. We go back again to the Browns in this game and then uh, make sure all the settings are right. Um, what we see is that we can't tell who the starters are and who the bullpen is, right? I can look and see what happened before, and I can obviously see the starter duration rating and get a pretty good idea that, yeah, okay, so Ostrowski probably is going to be a starter with that good rating. We can double-click on him if it ever lets me go through. He only started 13 games in real life, which I think is why he was listed as a, start, as a uh, spot starter. But what we care about more than the number of games played in real life is the situation we're facing right now, where two of our other starters were just used to days ago. Thank you, computer manager, for having no ability to contain yourself. Um, and so normally it would probably be Fannin um, starting today, but I just used him for 38 pitches in relief where the computer did. Whatever happened, right? And so we will end up going with Oskrowski. How many players do we have here now? Well, what we can't do is we can't just um, pull down and hold uh, shift and count them all. So I have to count them by hand. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 pitchers on this staff, which um, seems, like, um, it seems like a bit for 1949. And the reason why I wanted to film this is because when we look at the Yankees, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pitchers on the staff, and they're playing against each other, right? That means for the Yankees, if you start getting crushed, like I suppose they were on um, April 30th, I don't remember, they must have been against uh, Boston, then you have a problem because everybody has to go in and pitch. So you can see here that there is um, a problem, even if you're playing the game with real life transactions turned on, this sort of thing happens. Now, I know for a fact that chances are that the Browns did not actually have 13 active pitchers at that time on May 3rd. But going through and proving how many pitchers they had active and inactive at that time is a very arduous and difficult task. It would require me going through one, if not two, newspapers at the time and doing a lot of intensive research as well as like combing through the box scores to try to figure out when so-and-so was on and when so-and-so was off. This is especially difficult when you're dealing with older seasons and when you're dealing with teams that were not very good. Um, so it's something to sort of be careful about and to be wary of. I've not yet seen a uh, baseball simulation that has like a really, really good transaction system that accounts for this sort of thing and that like really, really digs into it. Most of these games, including Diamond Mind, will just use the Sporting News reported transactions and focus on that. If you want to really dig down, you've got to start looking at local papers. You've got to start looking at stuff that the Sporting News is probably not going to wind up uh, reporting. So anyway, there's something to keep in mind there for your replay projects in case you run into this issue. Really, there's not too much that we can do about it. But again, probably the Yankees here with seven pitchers is probably a little below that feels like a dead ball era team almost. Um, what you would probably see from this era is probably 
probably closer to nine pitchers or so, nine, maybe 10 who are active. The problem that I've noticed in 49 that we're going to notice in other games as we play through this is a lot of the worst teams seem to have an endless supply of players and like you feel like you have like 40 guys on the roster at once. The reason why is because the transactions have not quite been done as well as they should. Anyway, a little bit more food for thought for you, and I will talk with you tomorrow. Bye.